Are you guys? I'm going to do a video now about um, how to calculate the gradient. Um, my battery is actually a bit flat, so uh, mind if I do run out over it a bit. When you look at gradient, the first thing that you need to know is the formula. The formula is very, very important. Uh, what you also need to know is the gradient. What does it actually stand for? It means the top part of the gradient will tell you high, how high you are going. And the bottom part will tell you how far you are going. Okay. The formula for gradient is your vertical um, height difference. They call it other words in the textbooks. It means exactly the same. Divided by the horizontal distance. Okay, if you use the Afrikaans um, abbreviations, you would have said VHV over HA, but uh, you can also use the English one vertical height difference divided by the horizontal difference. You see, it's just the abbreviation of, this, of the full thing. They want you to write the full thing out. Okay, so please, sorry, please write the full thing out just to get it. Basically, what you're doing, you need to know what the height difference is so they will tell you um, work in f1 and you will see there's a trigonometrical um, beacon 294 and it is 68.5 and there's another one in another block that it's number 305 and underneath it will stand 43,7 what does this mean okay please you must make sure you know what it means the big number next to it can be big or it can be small. Usually it's in italics. That is just the name of the trigonometrical uh, beacon. That is, you don't have to use it. They're just telling you which one you are working with. It's like the names. Like your name is Pito, Sario, Jan, Quiz. That is just the name. At the bottom of it is the height. That is a, a, a physical height marker on that side so this is actually in meters remember everything on the topographical map is in meters okay so now you can go back to your um, formula and you can start to do it so you will say gradient is equal to your vertical height difference divided by your horizontal distance and now difference means minus you will need to minus okay so what are you going to do? You're going to say, okay, I've got 68.5 meters and I'm subtracting the smaller one. Okay, now I need to know how far are they apart. Now, with the trigonometrical um, beacon, you will get a, a triangle. You, you measure from the top of the triangle, okay? So you go back to your map. And you measure from the one to the other. In this case, it is, oh, let me just double check. It's 6,7 centimeters. Okay. So I'll just put it back. 6,7 centimeters. But we already said that it is meters. Remember? The block that we had, we just did it, that said multiply by 500, multiply by 0, 0,5, that block. Okay, that block says, okay, I'm multiplying by 500 because I'm working with a distance on a topographical map. The topographical map is the colored one. Please remember that. And I'm, wanted, I'm wanting it in meters. Meters is 500. Then you will get your answer. You will see this is 24,8 meters. How do I get that difference? You say on the calculator, 68.5 minus 43.7. You will get it as 24.8 meters. Now to get the bottom part, you just say 6.7 multiplied by 500. You will get double 350. Okay, this is also meters. Great, now we've got meters and meters. It's apples and apples. It can, um, we don't need to, to work with a distance anymore. Now, if you look at uh, a fraction, a fraction is like siblings. If you give 
one sweetie to the one kid, you need to give exactly the same one to another one. Otherwise, you're going to have trouble. Okay, so what you do to the one, you must do to the other one. And you always work to the one at the top because you want to get it to a one. So you will divide by 24,8 at the top, but you need to get the same sweetie for the other one. So it's going to be divided by 24,8 at the bottom. If you have a number like 951 over 10,903, it will work exactly the same. You will say divided by 951 at the top and you divide by 951 at the bottom. Okay, so make sure. If you do this, you will get the answer. You take 3350 three, and you divide it by 24.8 and you will get the answer of 135. 0.0806. Just look at what they say, how you have to do the rounding. If it's to two decimal, three decimals, or four decimals, just double check. But basically what this means in this scenario is for every one meter that you go up, that the, that the land is going higher, you first need to walk 135 at one meters now you guys that's about the length of a rugby field so they're going to ask you the next question will probably be is it a steep or gradual or soft the gradient and you can say in this case it's very gradual it's it's soft uh, how do we know that if you look at the, the 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 brown lines on the map you will see that they are far apart and that tells you that it is a soft gradient